coldest day of the year. <laughs> Couldn't be truer today, huh? Okay, very quick day at the office. Now I'm running. Swapping cars, meeting the bishop today. little colder here in Erie. What do you think? <laughs> the adventures with the bishop. Always something interesting. Oh, this wind and snow. I think Erie, uh, Pennsylvania should hire me to make commercials for them. I mean, I showed off the Golden Corral and this just stunning northwestern Pennsylvania weather. Started. I mean, I'm, 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 weather's getting a little nastier here in Erie, Pennsylvania. We lost three degrees since we started. It's snowing in the car now. Thank you. Thank you. Back in Newcastle, it's three degrees warmer, so it feels like a heat wave, but it's not as windy here as it is on the lake either. Whenever I'm in Butler, I always have to stop at Sam's Club. Can you guess what I'm buying? I'll give you just a few seconds to guess. Actually, it might be funny if you would just uh, pause the video real quick, put your guess in the comments, and then I'll get to read through and see if you guessed correctly. <laughs> Time's up. So did you guess it? Diapers and milk. Of course. Okay, so why was I in Erie, Pennsylvania today? That's probably the big question at this point. We had a uh, pastor contact that was up there who had been connected with a whole group of pastors. and uh, They were looking for um, some help, some training, some relationship, and see if we can uh, get them on the same mission of trying to transform whatever town that they're in. See, I'm all about spreading the gospel. I'm all about trying to transform cities and to uh, bring this message of positivity, this message, this good news that Jesus has given us, and taking that to every place that we can possibly take it. And so whenever we have an opportunity to get one of those contacts, uh, we're trying to follow up on it. 
and it's worth taking the time, you know, five hours of driving, a couple hours for a meeting. It's, it's worth taking one day of my life uh, to potentially be able to influence the transformation of several different towns. I think God gives us all different opportunities. He gives us all uh, different moments in our days and weeks and months where we have a chance to say, uh, yes, I'm going to follow up on that lead. And I think for the most part, and this is me included, we don't follow up on the leads that he places in front of us. And so uh, my challenge to you is that when God says go, uh, you would just go. When you see an open door, that you would just go ahead and try to walk through it. I think for the most part, we get really comfortable in our daily lives and we don't actually pursue the opportunities that God lays in front of us. And I wonder, how much potential have I missed out on? How much potential are we all missing out on? And so don't waste your chances. Follow up on that lead. Make that extra phone call. Uh, go that extra mile. And you might just see the world change around you. Does it create a little bit of extra work when I come back to the office? Yes, absolutely. Does it take a little bit of time? Yes, absolutely. Does it cost me a little bit of money? Yes, absolutely. But what if that next interaction is the one that changes the course of your life? What if that next interaction is the one that changes the world? It's worth it, you guys. It's worth the chance, it's worth the extra work, it's worth the extra time, it's worth the extra money. Follow up and follow God. That's it for today, you guys. As always, uh, hit the like button down there. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of all this. And of course, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, more Catanning videos coming tomorrow. I'll get back to the drone. Hopefully, I'll make my city, of, city video this week. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, you guys, uh, it's been a long day. I got to get home. Love you guys. See you later.